<laughs> uh, hi guys, this is Felix from SS1 Performance. Uh, today's video, you get to see me getting a chiropractic adjustment from a guy called Nick Oram, who is a uh, chiropractor in Chiswick. Um, I've been working with Nick for about five or so years. Um, initially, one of my clients had sort of a, an issue with vertigo and she saw him for one session and he sort of fixed it completely and enabled her to train to a much higher intensity. So then I went to go and see him um, at a time where I was dealing with uh, some pretty tough uh, issues to do with uh, losing a close family member. And it was expressed through a sort of physical um, pain in my neck and shoulder, which was just an ongoing thing, very debilitating. And he was the person that really helped me to kind of overcome that by doing um, a mixture of different techniques on me. Um, mindful, of course, that I was you know, very defensive about the area in my neck, as, as anyone usually is. Um, and since then, Nick has uh, been seeing anywhere between sort of 50 and sort of 70% of, uh, of my clients in Chiswick. Uh, I tend to recommend people go and see him at any point where I feel like all of my techniques are not quite doing it in terms of um, unlocking someone's mobility. So for example, let's say that I'm getting someone to do sort of rotational patterns, you know, frontal plane, sagittal plane movements. I'm using my soft tissue techniques from my sports massage diplomas, but um, I'm still getting a sense that the joints itself, um, the joint is like not quite kind of moving around as I want it to. The joints aren't articulating as well as I might hope. Um, that's the point where I tend to um, get Nick to um, see one of my clients and that way he can do his analysis and then start using techniques that I don't use such as you know high velocity thrust. Um, one of the interesting things about Nick is that he studies something called functional neurology which um, he told me about almost on our first uh, first day of meeting and I found it very interesting because I'm very um, kind of intrigued by the neuroanatomy and he talks about things like the cerebellum and efferent feedback and the fact that you know when you manipulate a part of the body you get a signal from the brain that sort of translates up so you get a, a, a proprioceptive signal by you know releasing a, a joint on one particular side for example if you expand a joint that then sends a signal up to the cerebellum the cerebellum senses that there needs to be some kind of um, release of tension in order to counteract the fact that a joint is being pulled on and then the cerebellum signals for one side of the body to then sort of reduce in tension and so he talks about this idea of balance all the time. Now at some point I'll do a video where him and I talk properly. Uh, we've had a few conversations already but we want to make sure the setting is right and um, I wanted to kind of introduce Nick um, to watchers of the channel first. So today's video you're just going to see me getting a, an adjustment and then you get to see some of the techniques that he uses. Um, so hopefully this is going to be informative for those of you who are wondering about how chiropractors operate um, and for anyone who trains with me um, you also get to see uh, what it's like for Nick to give someone else um, a treatment because um, yeah he's, he's quite the master at his craft. So hopefully you enjoy it and um, obviously uh, you know, we uh, should be getting some more development in the world of chiropractic on this channel because I want everyone on this channel to know about many different areas of fitness um, and also lots of different areas of sort of expertise, whether it's osteo, nutrition, acupuncture, calisthenics and, and all of that great stuff, which is all the stuff that I'm passionate about. So uh, without further ado, um, here we go. Uh, this is me and Nick uh, in Chiswick in uh, Glebe Street Chiropractic. Well, uh, my name is Nick Oram and uh, I'm a chiropractor. I graduated in 1994 and uh, moved to London about 22 years ago and I've been within the GP surgery here for uh, about 16 years now. And my particular approach is uh, functional neurology, which is looking at predominantly brain-based systems. So established uh, theories on how the brain works, we're trying to tap into that to try and uh, facilitate a good outcome with our musculoskeletal conditions. Okay, so to start with, we're just going, going to do... Might try that again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, to 
start with, we're going to do some posture assessment and range of movement tests. Okay, so rotation I'd say is a little bit limited in both directions, but fairly evenly. But when you drop down, I can see a, a bit of a pull coming through the left hand side, which is probably quite typical for you. Okay, so a little bit tight to the left, which suggests a little bit tight on that right hand side. Let's have your feet together. Okay, and eyes closed. Okay, so a little bit of sway towards your left. Keep your eyes closed. I'm just going to give you a little tap. I'm just going to apply some pressure from the left and right. I want you to just try and resist. Okay, yeah, I can't, can't resist on the left. It'll be yeah. easier to push you that way. Yeah. So again, when the left cerebellum is sort of fully functional, you'll get more sort of stability on that side. So that's a clue already. Any restriction there? Not too bad. Okay, so we're stiff on this right side. Okay, so L5 on the left hand side is also a little bit restricted. We've got a little gadget called an activator, which is just applies a little mechanical impulse. So we're just going to use that through the sacral base. Okay, if we look at the cervical thoracic junction, that's quite nice. We used to have problems up here when you first came. That seems to be clear. We'll make an adjustment to your thoracic spine first. Okay. And uh, then I'll flip you over and we'll check out the lower back and uh, get some movement into that as well. And the rib is a little bit tighter on that side as well. So in a moment, I'll just have you drop your arms down to the floor and take a nice deep breath in. All the way out. Keep breathing out. Breath in, breathe out. Good. Okay, take a deep breath. All the way out. And as we're tight up on that right hand side, that suggests the tone is a little bit higher, and that couples with our cerebellar hypothesis earlier. So we're going to make an adjustment on this left hand side. And just look up. If you can just slowly open wide for me and slowly close. And we've just got a little bit of a click in here that might suggest a bit of less tone on that side as well. So things are moving around a little bit too much. Everybody's favourite. Okay, if you just relax again, don't clench. So I'm just going to make an adjustment to the first metacarpophalangeal joint, which will give us a reasonable input to the cerebellum. So let that hand relax. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Feet together again. Right. We're just going to try and switch off this peck a little bit. So if you can have your hand up on your shoulder like so, drop your elbow down. Okay. Just going to get you to take a deep breath in. Okay. All the way out. Okay. Good. Yeah. So um, when we've got some restriction higher up in the spine, sometimes it's worth doing a standing or loaded adjustment. So I'll just put my hands behind your neck, okay, just my hip in front of your lower back. I want you to just put your hands behind mine, okay, and I'm going to lean you back to me, okay, so take a deep breath in, breathe out, lean back, okay, <laughs> that should do it. The treatment. Um, I feel more sort of open from the chest, a little bit more upright. This has been here for a few weeks now, um, my upper trap sort of tension, and I, I don't really feel it now. Mm -hmm. I feel very low level resonations, but uh, yeah, quite nice to get that relief. And I think now that this is fixed, I can probably start my calisthenics again uh, because I had to stop some of the front levers okay. until this was, was fixed. So obviously, Lovely. thank you very much, yeah, as always.